In this video, we are taking a look at FreePix AI Image Generator. And since it's from FreePix, one of the largest libraries of stock photos and vector images, it's definitely worth testing. We are also going to explore FreePix online design tool, the designer, which is a completely free online design tool that has been added recently to FreePix library of tools. Now, I've been discussing a lot of AI tools recently, and the big question remains, are FreePix free tools truly worth it for print on demand? Let's find out together. But before that, if you are new to the channel, welcome. This is W Morgan, and you are watching Sketch and Mesh Design Channel, where we dive into print on demand strategies and design tips. Let's jump in. Once you go to your FreePix homepage, you will find the section that says free tools. And you can see that there is an AI image generator, designer, a mockup generator, reimagine, retouch, and other and some other tools that you can use for free. They also have a background remover and an upscaler and sketch to image. So what we're going to try in this video is the AI image generator and the designer. So first let's sign up for a new account. You can use your Google account to sign up for free. And once you signed up, just go to the AI image generator and click on the image below or simply go to the tools section and press on the AI image generator. So FreePix image generator is called Picasso. And you have 20 images as a daily credit limit. On the, on the left side, there is the prompt box and there is an AI prompt button that helps you, that helps to enhance the prompt. There's the inspiration, the history and the creation step. So the inspiration is mainly other created images that you can get some inspirations from. So let's, for example, write vector in the, in the search box and this will provide us with some vector designs in the creation section is where we're going to create our designs so let's check the menu on the left side there's the mode tab which has which enables you to see the ai models that are integrated in the freepic picasso tool so the ai models that are integrated inside picasso are flux Fast, the Flux, and the Flux Realism, which is the Flux Pro. In addition to Classic Fast and Classic, and the Mystic AI, some of them are only available for the Premium or for the paid subscription, and some are for free. And the next tab is the Size tab. You can adjust your size according to what you need. And the Style tab, you can choose between different styles for your image. Also, some of the styles have this crown mark, which is only available for the premium or the paid version, and others are free. You also have a mockup style or mockup head generator and the vector. And then there is the color tab, the camera tab, the lighting. And structure and most of these tabs are not needed really uh, or for print on demand so we are going to skip these tabs maybe the colors is the only one that we're going to need to need and then the images tab where we can simply choose between four and less images that are to be generated at once so now let's go to the prompt tab now let's go to the prompt tab and our prompt says a cute cat wearing sunglasses vector style and i will leave the ai prompt switch on and for the style let's leave it as this and press on the create button to see what we're going to get so the images are quite good but of course they are far from what we need for print on the map so they are not the vector styles. And now we see that we only have 18 images for the credits. So let's highlight the digital art style and press create to see the results. So for the digital art, the results are much better in terms of 
pent on demand and we are using the classic model for the generations as you can see from your mode tab if you press on the load more new image generations will be generated right away so this is also nice much better than the first attempt however the style is still far from what, what, what I'm looking for I'll add detailed vector style to the front on the wide background and see what we're going to get let's also add the word contour and press him go on the create button so the images yeah nice images but this is again this is not what I'm looking for so let's change the AI mode from classic to flux we only have the just option in the free version so let's press on it and uh, keep our prompt tests and press on the generate button and right away we get this vector style images that works much better for print on demand so i like the one on the right side if you press on it we can see the image in full and we can press on the upscale button on the left side to upscale it and then export it either download it to pc or open it in the designer so let's press on the use in a design and this will take the image and open it in freepix designer tool and the designer tool is also similar to other design tools that we have seen before you have the left menu on the uh, we have the left menu which has your working tabs being the artwork on the right so let's press on the remove background tab to see how it's going to work partly the background has been removed but we cannot see it because of the background color or the artwork color so let's change the artwork color to red and oh that and the result is not perfect the background remover the left some white parts around the mustache of that cat so apparently the background remover of the free pick is not the best tool to use so what i'm going to do is to delete the image and use the uploaded image with the one that you have created that has a white background again i'm going to work with the white background and it was the white background and after i finish my design i'm going to remove the background using another tool as you can see the design still has the white background on it so let's add some text from the text menu there are some types of text like heading and normal text and some templates once you press on any of these templates or, or text lines it would be added directly to artboard but let's go back to the text tab and add a heading to our design we can st stretch the heading to increase the the font size we would just increase it from the upper menu so once you press on the more button while selecting a test an additional menu would appear on the right side that has text effects there are some nice text effects available on the free pick designer and we're going to try a couple of them during this tutorial so I'll, wrap, I'll start adding my first text no rules but I'm going to add it letter by letter because I would like to change the curves of the letters they are not going to be aligned or in straight line so rotating each letter separately and then grouping the letters together I mean I'm going to change the to resize my artboard to 4500 by 5400 which is ideal for um, print-on-demand platforms and I'm going to continue working on my text so let's add effect to the first letter 
and play with the bars a little bit to create a shadow effect. So let's duplicate the letter again. And now let's change the shadow color. The upper menu changes the main color of the text. And we can change the effect or the shadow color from the effect menu like so. And I'm going to change the angle of the shadow. And then I'm going to duplicate the letters again and change the letters so that I keep the effects as this. I should have done that before writing the old text. So let's delete the old text and replace it with the new text with or the new letters with the effect. Now let's add another header to our artboard and stretch it to fit the space we both the cat head. Now I'm adding my upper text, Tiny Rebel, increasing the font size from the upper menu and stretching it to fit the upper space like so. Again, it's very simple platform, similar to Tittle and Canvas design tool, but it seems that there is the menu is not much with the options, the available options is we are still limited. Probably because it's a, a new tool by Creative Fabrica. But again, it's completely free. So as a designer, whenever you have a free design tool that you can explore, feel free to do that. And I'm going to adjust my upward two lines to fit a design. Then using the element step, I'm going to search for stars and since it is Creative Fabric, uh, available stock images are huge. So this is one of the advantages of this design tool. So I'm going to search for some stars and add it to the design. Again, once you press on the element, right click on it to get or to open the menu and duplicate it. You can change the color from also the same menu. So what I'm going to do is to start adding some elements to the background of the design using some different star styles from the elements tab of the, de the designer tool. And I'm going to change the color and keep changing the colors of these stars. I'm going to introduce a new color, the pink color, to the image. I think it fits well with the overall theme. This time I'm going to use a different text for the design. I, I'm looking for as a more of a script font. So started to ex explore some script templates and then I decided to use a script font from uh, the designer's library of fonts. Then using the text edit menu to add effects to the text. This time I'm using the echo preset to add shadow to the text. And also I'm using the outline uh, effect both with the echo, changing the outline colors to black, and I'll play with the width of the outline. This is how it makes it visible because the text is placed in the, in the front or front in front of the get element. Again, I you can keep playing or changing, trying text effects that come with the designer of food. And I duplicated the text and I wrote the word pink. And then I started to add my final text piece at the bottom of the design. Life is a catwalk. Adjusting the text, adjusting the text and the design elements, adding more stars to the design. And finally, the last piece of the design, which is stay cord. And it's the bottom of the design. And I decided to add 
additional elements to complete the empty spaces in some parts of the wizard. So let's add single stores at the bottom and some hole at the top. Again, this is one of the strongest um, elements of the Freepik designer or the, the strongest points or advantages of the Freepik designer is the element step full of icons, illustrations, and stickers that you can use for the design. And also they're designed to self-explanatory. Once you select any element on your board, then a new menu will appear that helps you either to edit the text or change the color or add effects. So you will get the hang of it once you start working, working on it. And again, since it's a free tool, it is really worth trying. So now let's add some final pieces to the, the design. I'm going to add some elements. I searched for dots and I like this curved lines. I'm adding some of these curved lines to my background like so. And once the design is ready, you can press on the download button and you get the option to download the design in the PNG format or a PNG without background, which is ideal for logos and web assets. Go ahead to download my design using the first option. And remember PNG. that we have already upscaled image and we have dimensions of the outboard set to our to 4500 by 5400. And after downloading the design, I used Canva platform to remove the background. I simply uploaded the design to my Canva account. And using the apps tab, I also upscaled the whole design for one more time, although the design was already upscaled. And finally, I used the background remover to remove the white font the background and restore some of the those parts the the background remover and that's it that this is how i used the free pick ai image generator and the free pick designer to create this design in overall the ai the ai image generator it's worth trying as it it has the flux model integrated which is one of the greatest AI models for build on demand. However, the credits are really quite low per day, only 10 credits available every day. But again, since it is free, it is worth trying. The designer is completely free. You can work on it to work with the designer's tool as much as you want using other design elements from outside FIPIC. And this is a great addition to our tools for print on demand. So if you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button and stay tuned for others print on demand tutorials. And if you would like to me to create a video about a specific topic, please write in the comments below. Thanks for watching.